Today, Precarious plays Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. Hello. Sir. Face lover. You have impeccable taste. Face taste, as a matter of fact. Mm hmm. It's not. Uh. Can, do I? How do I do this? Speak to him again. No fish to oh, share with oh, you. Oh, uh, talk to the oh, seahorse. Oh, yeah, okay. I think you're still sort of locked onto him. There. <laughs> Lock onto the seahorse. Look into my eyes, sea giraffe. It's more of a giraffe. Help me. <laughs> Please. That's what seahorses sound like. Mm -hmm. Yes, very interested in that fish. I mean, a seahorse is... It's it's just a fish, just a weird fish, right? It's just a weird fish, yeah. Very uh, weird. What? Why? Why not? Says Mother Nature. Well, I guess giraffes exist on land, so <laughs> it's fine. Regular horses are pretty weird. You're just used to them. You know, regular horses are just tall dogs, and dogs are just small bears. So really, horses are just thin bears. That makes sense. <laughs> just, there's a bear that, in the in, in the in the long ago, they went on a diet and it stuck. Uh. Really, horses are just like bears, but they're like catty bears, like catty bears from the office that won't shut up about their new diet and their exercise routine and how lovely it is running through the park every goddamned morning. Awesome. Hold it above your head. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, we're going to Pinnacle Rock anyway, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's, this is the key. It's shaped like a seahorse, but that seahorse is a key. Ah, okay. No wonder it's so gold. No, you don't need any of that stuff because you you're gonna be you're gonna be underwater. Okay, I I just got the the rock mask anyway. I don't know what you're talking about. Not the rock mask, the stone mask. I don't get it. I don't see anything. I can feel the joke now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Which way, left or right? Uh, well, look around, see if you can see anything that seems very like. Top top rock, like most rock. Oh, I don't know. That's pretty big. Okay, okay yeah, you know. Now that you is it this it, one? Is it this one? It, yeah, it's the pair of rocks. Okay. <laughs> I mean, like that's a whole mountain. <laughs> yeah, I guess Wee. the mountain is a bit better. It's a bit more imposing than the two weird ocean spires. Do a land, like, yeah. Do a dive and then check the sign. Is the sign the key? Wearing murky water and sneeze, sea snakes. Walk past the sign. That should be fine. Uh, was it too far? Was that too far? Uh. Oh. Okay. No. Now. Now dive. No. No. Oh. Dive. And now release the seahorse. Okay. Release the. No. No, I was thinking it, and if I don't get to do it, you don't get to do it either. Oh, I thought that you were arguing with me about how to release the seahorse. I was like, what, do I not select the bottle? Do I have to do a dance first? All right, let's get a good shot of this. Oh, there we go. Just, oh, it's putty. Oh, he's big. He's big. What have big. you been feeding him? All the food, because he's a nice boy. Uh... Yes, I do have strange powers of enlarging tiny seahorse friends. Into you follow it. You keep on it because it is. Uh, yeah, you'll have to. Oh no, no, oh. no! Why? Why? <laughs> I was trying to follow it, so I was swimming. Dive, man! You. I mean, I thought that you had the skills, but then you didn't turn. If you're going to swim after it, then you've got to be faster on the B button. Where is he? There. But I can run after him. Yeah, I think that that's the intention, unless... Like, I don't think they really expected anybody to swim after it. If you were going to do that, then, I, you, like I said, you've got to be faster on the B button, so that way you can stop your forward momentum mm. very abruptly. I mean, this 
this task is, I think, just too stop and start. Yeah, it's too... Yeah, the turning on that has never been fun. <sighs> I don't agree. The turning is rad. It's just not well suited to this activity. And I think that you're there. Yeah. There we are. Oh, good. You took me to the sea snakes. I love sea snakes. Yeah, sure. Yeah, that is something you have to do, isn't it? While we're here. Am I just here and then sea snakes? <clears throat> well, our principal objective... It's retrieving the Zora eggs from the... Uh, I don't know how to describe them. The the caves. The caves on either side. Or like all around this central pillar. The central uh -huh. column. Uh -huh. I, I don't know enough nautical... It's a trench of sorts. It's a pit. Okay, it's a pit. And then there are very... Pores. Deep, but narrow sort of pinpricks all around the central pit. Okay. So explore them, look out for sea snakes. I don't think they're that dangerous. It's just time consuming and scary if they grab you. Okay. Weirdly, this is the kind of thing that should have scared me as a kid, but because of the powers of Zora Link, it was never actually that. Uh, <gasps> yeah, <gasps> man, careful. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you did it, you figured it out, I think. Yeah, so they're just big and startling. And make sure you go into each of those once it's clear because there are pots, which will give you important resources that would otherwise be scarce here. Mm -hmm. um, and some of these, I believe, have little Zora, Zora babes in them. How do I? How do you what? Kick the pots. Okay. It, he's I, just I really just tall. To... Yeah, I know. I'm like, how do I aim down enough? Can if you get them? if you get really frustrated, I guess you use your boomerang fins. Yeah. Okay. Number one. Should I just go across? I should stay on one level. Right, and then and clear. Then go, and go down. Okay. That's probably that's the the way to do it most thoroughly, because helping the seahorses it's optional, I think, but. I believe that there's a heart piece and a good warm feeling in it. If you help them. Wow, so they can't really do shit to you if you're magically shielded, huh? Yeah. See, I remember like a, a sort of involved kind of cutscene. Like, do you remember getting grabbed by Morpha, the boss of the water tem temple in Ocarina of Time? How there was that protracted animation where Morpha would grab Link and shake him around and then throw him, and it took... I mean, from a child's perspective... It took forever. It's two forevers, at least. <laughs> yeah, I... I don't remember that all that well. Huh, I think there might be eight Zora eggs total. Maybe I... Okay. I can't remember how many notes are in the songs because I just did Bolero of Fire and that song has eight, I think. I hope you'll forgive my hesitation. Hmm. If you look, go into first person mode. How? Up on the sea, uh, the equivalent of the sea stick. Why did you not up on the the regular stick? That's movement, you silly thing. Okay, <sighs> so fix perspective, then up on the C stick. Yes. Or what would be the C stick? The right analog stick. Okay. And not when you're okay. targeting, I guess? There we go. That's much better. Okay, and then... You'll just have to walk to the close enough to the edge to yeah, peer it's... down. That's close enough. Don't go any further. <laughs> Sorry, I thought that that was like a water texture. Okay, so there's one right next I, door. No, I think that the, they are... I think they descend in sort of a, uh, a screw shape downward. Okay. Like, I'm pretty sure that there's one there, there's one there, and then there would be one, like, underneath where the mini-map is okay. now on that side. Oh, is that the moon? 
Don't look, don't look at the moon. <laughs> this, I forgot. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. See, it started some animation, but then it didn't, it didn't play out. Yeah, because I remembered how to shock the bastard. Oh, hmm. Um, there we are. The most important thing is I don't want to have to come back out here. Mm -hmm. How many eggs are left out here? Well, that's what I'm not, I'm not sure. Um, I thought that there were seven eggs total, because I thought there were seven notes in the song. Mm -hmm. But I'm thinking about Ocarina of Time, and the song that I remember most most easily is the Bolero of Fire, mm -hmm. and I'm pretty sure that has eight notes. And I don't know why, like the dungeon songs, I mean, I guess there's nothing that says that they all have to have the same number of notes. Okay, so the next one's across. I'm pretty sure there are either three or four eggs here, and it, it's not a huge deal. It's just gonna be like dropping that fairy. Yeah, I already have two eggs. Oof, that felt quite close, although I didn't lose any health. It was just really frightening. Ooh, mm. what if I run out of juice? Well, that's what the pots are, are here for. Well, they're supposed to be here for that. Yeah. So if you go out and then down into the right at a very gentle angle, I think that should take you to the next cave. Is it much lower? This one might be much lower. Uh, yeah, I think it's down in the bottom right hand corner. Okay. Oh, that's weird. What? Well, normally it does the very dramatic bee boo, bee boo, and the screen recedes into the distance. You know, as the hour of everyone's death draws ever closer. Mm hmm. Um. There it is, you can see it. Yeah, I can see it. Okay. Uh, some areas are immune to that. And I'm just surprised that this one is. Like, I guess it's considered some kind of dungeon environment. You know, looking at it, these things aren't like... I don't yeah. think they're especially large compared to Oh no, now he's got me. Yeah. I don't think they're especially large compared to some of the creatures in um, Subnautica. Mm -hmm. I'm more confident than ever that Zora Link would wreck that wreck that game in a positive way, yeah. in, a, in a way that I would appreciate. However, now I am, is it above you're, me? No, you're, you're floating up. You've been floating up this whole time while you've been not. I've been trying to Find out. Like it's way down there now, I'm pretty sure. Because you can see them from sort of far off, I think. Mm -hmm. You know, we'll get them all eventually, and at this point I'm worried that we're gonna have to find magic. Yeah. We'll come back as the last one dies. 